my plan going into today is, um, I don't, did we film since she found those woodcock on Monday? No. So I should explain this. Um, spring has sprung here. Uh, we've got a lot of birds migrating. Really love this time of year. It's been a little cold the last couple of days and rainy. So we have not filmed. Um, but in the evening, it kind of died down uh, the rain last night. I took her out with me on lead, had Chief in my R3 labs and the puppy. Um, and we made some retrieves in the yard that was more for Chief than anything. But with her, she just had to stay on lead because she would run out and get in the way of it. She would grab the dummy and run off with it. So she's not allowed to do that. She is teething yet. Um, you can see here, if you look closely, she finally lost that canine on the bottom. And you can see the little, it's healing up. So the uh, adult tooth pushed out the little puppy tooth. And so she's had a little bit of a sore mouth here. Um, I'm certainly not making retrieves with her for that reason and other reasons as well. But um, outside, we're not make, letting her pick stuff up. She turns it into keep away. So we'll get there, I'm not worried about it, but she, it was good for her to watch the other dogs make retrieves. And she had to do a lot of this. Um, I've been healing her sporadically throughout the day on lead. And then at times I'm letting her kind of cast and, and do her thing, um, bumping her back with some recall occasionally. And it's just, everything's going really nicely. Um, Monday night, we had woodcock. I could hear them painting on Sunday night. I could hear them making their noise. And so on, on Sunday night, on Monday, I made a point of like looking for them. We went for a walk, we didn't find any. Um, and everything is really wet, so it's a little challenging to get around, but we did that just for exercise and with the hopes of finding a few birds. And then we got back to the house and that last, you know, probably 15 minutes before dark when the woodcock get pretty active, I heard them, you can hear them flying around, you can hear them calling and, and making that sound, that painting sound. So I watched them and I saw one go down. And so I took her and we recorded it, I recorded it on my phone. Listen, listen, he's right here. There it is. There it is. See him? Did you see him? Yeah. Did you see that woodcock? Yeah. We must have walked right by him. And it was very much like just let her do her thing and figure this stuff out. I was observing to see what would happen. Um, she loved it. She saw some pigeons in the week prior to that. She saw that rooster pheasant. I think I talked about that um, in an earlier episode. The bird, the bird dog in her is waking up, waking up a little bit. So she's eyes to the sky, very easily distracted by certain things, robins to, to anything. So um, today my plan is I want to do some foundational stuff here. I'm going to do some heel work. I'm going to do some steadiness with her here. Then I'm going to take her off to the grass, similar to what we did, I think, last time. I don't remember quite the last episode that we filmed, but I'm gonna take her off. I'm gonna let her do a little bit of casting. Prior to that, I think while I have her on lead, I'm gonna work on walking her through some distracting scents and feels and wet and all this stuff that is a lot more challenging than this driveway. So we're gonna start out with the easy stuff. We'll ramp our way up um, and then get to the field. And then I'm gonna let her go and do her ex exploring a little bit and show me like a mix between control and I don't want to call it wildness, but like more natural, let you do your thing and start figuring out how to, how, my, my idea or my goal with her is to start figuring out how to overlap that stuff and get it kind of on the same canvas instead of separating it and being just run wild and develop as a bird dog or be under extreme control. I'm trying to get a little bit of back and forth with it. So we, we start out with what's easy for her and that's here on the driveway. Now she's a little sloppy there, good. Nice little recovery. Because even the easy stuff gets challenging when there's distractions. And every day there's more birds here. Not game birds, but 
It doesn't necessarily matter to her right now. A bird's a bird. Good. That nose is really high. That Those eyes are really to the sky. I'd like to make sure that they catch my eyes once in a while. So I need her to be reading me and feeling me. And when she doesn't, I'm gonna remind her. And that's where the lead comes in. Good. Because if we're to go to off lead, which I would like to start thinking about it, I think she's pretty damn good on lead. I'd like to start, but that little flare out there, I couldn't be able to correct that if she did, if she was off lead. So I gotta get her hugging me a little bit tighter before we can go off lead. That flare out right there. So bring her back. There. Good. Come on. Good. There. Nice eyes. Good good look to me. She wanted to flare out, but she looked up at me. Corrected herself. Very nice. Good girl. Thank you. You can tell she's looking at me. Good girl. Good. I felt different to her. You could tell as soon as, as soon as that, uh, uh, come on, come on. As soon as I took her off lead, it felt different. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fight through it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, heel, good dog. Easy. Good. That's a good girl. you for that. Nicely done. Good little girl. Good girl. Heel. Heel. So I'm, I'm balancing this, giving her a little more freedom with the understanding of I yeah, give some respect back and earn a little trust and you're not going to boogie off on me. Good. Now pay attention. Don't get caught sleeping, girl. That's it. Good. Watch. Watch. First time we've done this ever. Good. That's a good dog. I mean, this isn't a bird, so I'm conditioning her to be steady with a little distraction. It's not a bird. Good. Car's driving by. I'm going to let him go by. Very good. Ah, 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 ah. I was afraid that might happen. That's okay. Right there. Good. There was a time when she'd have bolted with me holding onto the other end of the lead, so I take that as a real big win. That's a good girl, but look at the tail. Still a little nervous about it. We'll get there. That's a girl. Kind of took the truck. Kind of took away from the the impact of that attempt with a with a dummy. Now, if you watch her videos on retrieving, you'll know that that dummy is a distraction for her because she has become very interested in chasing it. Now you clean up your heel work. That was terrible. Come on. Come on. That's, that's it. Good back, good back, good back. Get in position. Good. Heel. Heel. There. So I subtly unclip. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Good. Come on. That's it. That's it. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Good. That a girl. Ah, ah, ah. That a girl. That's the first time we've done that off lead. Very nice little girl. You're kind of playing with me today here. Good job. Really happy to see that. Let's do that dummy again. Watch. Watch.
a good dog. That's a good dog. My whole reason or thought behind doing this is make it easier when it comes to me actually having to wool trainer, which I don't think this is wool training by any means. It's just getting her to be under control and understand stop when I tell you. We're not even telling her yet, we're showing her. Like it's all body language. But it's cueing off of, I wouldn't probably be doing this if she didn't do it so naturally on her own. She has a tendency to do this where she'll get real steady. Good, heel. Good. Ah, ah, ah. So that's about it. I think I'm good here. I'm going to go. I want to take her across into the grass. Again, very good session here. And back in the day, I would have been happy and said, let's end it. But now I think she's just she's getting a little bit more capable of doing a little more. Um, from a focus and attention standpoint. So let's add to it a little bit. Let's go across and I'm not gonna rush to get to the field. I'm gonna take my time and I want her to go under control and we'll get closer into some things that are distracting to her and we'll see if her heel works any good. If it is, that'll be great. And then I'll reward her with the idea of, okay, go do your thing a little bit and make sure you come back to me when I call you. I don't call her back that often. I think I gotta make that point too. It's not like I have her recall constantly. But at times I do want her, I like her checking in. I like her looking for me. I like her understanding that I am important. I like her understanding that, you know what, I should stay in kind of contact with him. Because I think the contact right now is, it's a lot of visual. But I also think that she's starting to not look as much or as often and feel, kind of feeling or hearing or sensing me moving in a certain way and then responding and that to me is um, I don't want it to be verbal I don't want to be calling or peeping on the whistle Ben we're gonna go quite a ways over here um, I don't want it to be that and I don't want it to be a need that I have to put her on a collar when I say a collar I mean a, a shock collar I don't I don't want to have to hit her with a shock collar and say we're going this way get over here not interested in that. So it's a fine line of control and freedom, and it's an extension of what we've been doing really on a micro level everywhere we go. Like I think she also understands too, like it's easy to concentrate over there. We get over here, this is where the, good, this is where the really good stuff happens. So I'm gonna ask you to pay attention over here too, which is more challenging for lots of reasons. There you go, out of position, good. So let's just work on your position here. We're in a spot where you usually give you a little more independence, it's a little more fun. And I'm gonna say, no, listen to me. Work with me here, no, work with me here. Bend is wrong, you can see that. No, bend is wrong, she's real hoppy. You just look at the difference in it. So we'll practice here, go slow. Good, good, good. That a girl. I'm bouncing this with my finger so she feels that. Good. Just like that as I back her up. She feels that vibrating on her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. That a girl. Good. Heel. Now that's real extreme to spin three times in a row, but just gotta get, I gotta get my point across to her. Pay attention. Good. Good, don't assume. Good. No, don't assume. So I'm slowing down. Good. That a girl. Good. Good. Come on. There. Very good. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's a good girl. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good. I want that lead off of her and nothing to change behavior-wise. Good. Nope, nope, come here, come on, 
There's, come here, come here, come here, come here. So I don't want her in this habit of, oh, it leads off, go, go, go. So I screwed up there. I should have, should have kept the lead on and off several times. Come on, come on. So we'll see if I can get her back. If I can get her back, great, we'll end it with that. If not, I'm gonna just move off on her. Come on. Here, come on, come on. That's a good dog. Here, here, good girl, thank you. Nicely done, girl. There, put that back on you. It's not so bad. Take it back off. Good. Thank you for coming back. Really nice, we've really been working on this idea of punishment doesn't come when you call them back. It's not bad to come back. I like taking this on and off without pulling our head out and dodging it. Just easy. Good. Putting it back on. Good. I don't want you bolting just because I took the lead off. That's it. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Hey, that girl, come on. Ben, we're going to probably do the same thing. We're just going to work our way through here. I'm going to let her run a little bit. Now this is right where we were working about half hour ago with Chief. So I, I'm sure there's smells of Chief in here. We were throwing some dummies. There could be some scent on that, of that. She'll smell, I mean, she's just gonna smell all sorts of stuff. So I look at that and I gotta get her to figure out what's worth smelling and digging into and what's not. One of these walks, I think we're gonna walk up on a woodcock and that, that's a good chance for her to, to learn something. I gotta keep in mind, she's never, I've not put her on a bird intentionally yet. So it's not like, she, now we had a dummy in there. So it's really interesting how she goes in and works that area. Normally I don't see her nor push into that cover usually, but we made several retrieves in there. So she goes and investigates, well, Chief was over here. Good. I'm just, I'm learning as much as she is right now, just watching how she works. What I can't wait for her to do is, stumble upon a, a, a woodcock and go, wow, that was really cool. And then find another one and then find another one. And then all of a sudden realize, man, I should go look for these things. But I just think that's in her. I don't know that I'm gonna teach her to do that other than giving her an opportunity. I love how she goes out to air out too. She does that up at the yard, goes out into the bush and airs herself out there. And We've formed that habit early on by taking her to spots now she's a little hung up on something there. Let's go. That a girl. That a girl. Eventually, I think we're going to get a few launchers, pigeon launchers, and this would be. I'm already strategizing as this dries up. I'm going to build different walking paths and trails and get to different pockets of cover. I love those Christmas trees over there. We'll probably use that kind of thick, thick area and have remote launchers where I can get her to pick up on a, a bird maybe once in a while and launch a, launch a pigeon for her. But we'll see. I'm not, we're not, I'm not there yet. And I don't know that I understand it well enough yet. And I'm going to let her, discover birds a little bit on her own here first. Hopefully. Oh, 
I just heard a woodcock. Pretty sure that's a woodcock. Ah, I hear one over in here. Between us and the road, I think. If, Logan, if we do get up on one and she actually does pin one down or point one, if he's not around, just try to get on her, I would say, before anything. I mean, I don't know that we're going to find them here or not, but... I feel like the bird was in here. I thought it was back here. Like in between us and the shop. Okay, well, we'll work through there. I mean, maybe it was. Where'd she go? Good girl. Come on. Come on. Let's just swing through here. You hear it? Did you hear it peint a couple times? Yeah. I heard it really well. I heard it two or three times. I mean, she's only seen two, and I don't know that she'll know what to do with it if she did find it. Just because the last two that she found were pretty audible. You know, they were painting, she heard them, she crept in on them. Come on, let's go. Come on. There it is. Oh, a rabbit. I was going to say, boy, oh boy. There it is, right there. Oh, she's gonna go right up on it. Here, watch her, watch her, Ben. There, there. Well, good girl. Well, good girl there. I don't think she ever found it again, but I think it went right down. Good girl. Nice little recall there. Did you see the bird? No. It flushed right here. Yeah. Good girl. She had no idea. Good dog. Nor did she know what to do with it when it got there, but I thought it went down right over here. No, it didn't, never got really out of this. I'm going to see if it's in here. There, look at, look at. Oh, car coming here. Here, 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 here. Good girl, come on. Good dog. That's a good dog, come here. What a good recall, too. 
Good dog. We'll let that car go by. That's a good dog. Yeah, I don't. I, I, she must have seen it. Good dog. Here, 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 here. There's the nervousness. Here, here. Now, there's a perfect example of just. Here's some training. Come on, girl. Come on. I should have seen that coming. Come on. That's a girl. That's a girl. That's it. Don't go running like that. Come on. Let's go find that bird. Find that bird. All right. Let's see. We, we'll go in here a little ways. It's going to get kind of wet, I think. Let's go. Hoping she'll stumble upon it. I thought it went right in here, but it could have scooted out too and kept flying. Well, that's, I mean, you know, I look at that and I go, ah, I really wish we'd have been able to get her have a nose full of it. But it's one of those things where I'm sure she gained something from it. Now we got to find a whole bunch of them and let her just put that back, put those things together. Looking for sheds in there. Looked pretty good in there. I, I guess, you know, to be honest with you, my, my, the biggest takeaway for me out of that whole thing was unintentionally, I got a chance to recall her in a situation where a lot of, kind of a lot of excitement there. Rabbit, woodcock, car, all things that can throw her off a little bit. She did great. So right back to the hunt, and that's what I like about her. So we'll walk this back. I mean, there might be more in here. I mean, there's certainly several of them last night that I heard. But what, I mean, one of the things I can say is having the ability to do this right in my backyard is a huge advantage in the idea of trying to train a bird dog. I mean, it's, it, I just don't think you can replicate it. And even if you try, I almost think at times it's worse for the dog. I think, I think pen birds have value in some training situations, but nothing's gonna beat a wild one from, from her taking away positives from it. This is that area with these kind of thick with Christmas trees and dense pines that I think will work really good to put a bird in here. But again, that's what I think. The dog needs to find out where to, how to find birds, not go where I think they should be. Look at her work here. I just think it's this body language thing with her. Once she's caught the wind of a few birds, her body language has definitely changed. She's just more businesslike. And that's not something I trained. What you finding? Let's go. Come on, let's go. One thing I'm going to try to do actually is I try to keep tabs of her content and probably take notes in my phone with it. But I'll be real curious to see the number of birds that it takes. Uh, the number of birds that I get, get a chance to put her in front of, the number of birds it takes to actually start to click and make a little sense. And there goes a rabbit. So I imagine she's got some scent on that right now. She's seen rabbits since she was real little and thankfully has not turned it into too big of a deal. Come on. So I don't know if I want to push that rabbit. Come on, let's go. Change directions here. But I'm going to keep tabs of how many contacts she gets. 
And I think it's something that over the course of a few years will be interesting to look back on, Let's see several different dogs, what it takes to, what it takes to see a switch flipped inside of them. Good girl. Good girl. But what's let's we'll get out of this thick stuff Logan. What's really interesting to me is the the difference here. This is part of what we're writing about for Gun Dog magazine is I mean we're we're preparing her for hunting by doing this. What a difference between this and what I'm doing with Chief to try to get him ready for hunting, a retriever. It's just it's just so different. Both fun, very different. The other thing too, when those woodcocks start making that noise, a lot of times I think they're talking to each other. So Ben might have heard one in here. But I'll do my best here the next couple weeks as these birds come through and continue to do this to film as much as I can, whether it be with these guys or with my phone or a GoPro. But I do think that capturing this is really, really interesting. I've not seen anything. I wish I, I wish there was something like that for me to follow and see. But I think it's also valuable to explore and screw up and make mistakes and share it and you're gonna see it all, so. Well, that kind of does it, I think. We circled back, we made a nice big loop there. Here, let's finish it out with her. Come here. Hey, 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 let's go, come on. Good girl. I think this is the, here, here, since we started. Good, come here. Thank you. You're real, you're doing really nice. Uh, you know, I did one recall there after she first spun out. Good, here, good. I love how she's, you know, back for more. Come here, here, here. Now don't screw this up, Jeremy. Come here, come here, come on, come on. Thank you, come on. No, 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 come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So if it gets to this point where it, she's not coming, she's not coming, she's not, here, 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 come on. Hey, 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 hey. Good dog, good dog. Thank you. Good job. Here, come here. That's it. Way to finish. If it got to the point where I couldn't get her to finish those last couple steps, I try a couple things. Positive. Come on, come on, come on. No, that doesn't do it. Turn her off of what she's doing. No, 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 no. See if that. If it doesn't change, hit a hard reset button. Turn and walk away from her. Try it again. And I, I find that a lot of times. You hit that hard reset and you'll get it that second, third, fourth time. But I don't think it's smart to just continue to pound on her and not get results. So um, that's sidetracking me. But got a nice recall there in the beginning. I don't think I recalled her until she went to the bathroom over here. And I didn't really recall her, but I, I, I guess I did. I said, come on, let's go. And I beep, 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 beep. And she came running and we worked our way through here. I recalled her when the bird went up. Bird went through before the truck did, right? So recalled her after the bird went up and she went towards the neighbors. That was good. That would have been three. Recalled her when the truck spooked her off. That was four. Just recalled her now. That was five call her off of the rabbit or didn't really call her off of it but changed directions with her she responded nicely there so there was a couple times that i communicated with her not a lot but she really was responsive and i'm real i'm real happy about that i think it's a real good step in the right direction so like we did with chief um we had a nice real nice session out here and there she got real nervous about that car i didn't even pay attention to it good if she hadn't been on leads she'd have run off well, we had to recall her back, but she got through that. Good, you're fine. But look at her body language. Look at that tail. So we got. We're gonna get through that. We're way better than we once were. And the reason I know we'll get through it is because she used to be afraid of a dishwasher. 
doesn't even phase her now. Vacuum cleaner. I vacuumed with her all. The, I ran the vacuum all the way around her on her bed. No problem this weekend. And that stuff used to just get her unglued. Come on, easy, easy. So, just like with Chief, we'll wrap this session up. That was really nice. Put her on a lead, and I'll heal her back up to the house. And I'll either put her on her place, or I'll put her in her kennel, and that'll be it. And now we're getting kind of into the evening, so I've got some computer stuff to do. I'll work on that. I'll probably wait till it gets a little bit closer to dark, and then I'll start listening for Woodcock. And I'll probably take her for a little late night stroll here and see what she does. But we'll see. Um, every day, man, every day, just take a little bit further step, a little bit further step. Some days it will go good. Today went good. Some days it don't go so good. So um, instead of getting real high, I'm going to go, that was good. We'll build off of it. And instead of getting real low and it's crappy, it's okay. We'll build off of it. So glad to have you guys following along and watching this. If you do me a favor, if you like this, check out our other videos. And then also um, leave us, um, you can't review on YouTube, can you? No, but comments help. But comments help and um, let us know what you think and um, share it if you know someone that you think it might help. So appreciate it. Really appreciate your support. This is a, this is a project that I've, I've really enjoyed so far and it's just getting started. So glad to have you guys along.